Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Warm 40k Inquisitor Prophecy, where we go on with the priority assignment. We still are on the. Are we still? At least we are on the Escalon Core relay station. We have to do a purge against Corn again. We did locate a significant concentration of invaders, but it is most likely a coincidence rather than a planned action. Nevertheless, this is an opportunity we cannot pass up, eliminate the corn worshippers. Only corruption lies beyond the veil. There is nothing but suffering and death beneath the stars. Oh, yes, um, of course. I do enjoy these little grim and dark um, starting of the missions where we really need okay Rod with Robert Zerker, the first champion of this map so to say we really need, need nicely quickly take him down this guy's gone neat 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 on it goes okay we have a tougher enemy in between which I will quickly take down as well nice guy is then one enemy still to the left it is a tau oh, okay weird that i have a little bit overseen that should actually not happen at all okay no problem at all let's see nothing overseen here well technically i would have overseen this chest the which chest was just a bait. A treacherous trick from a treacherous enemy is a bloody trap but in the end um i should not complain we have in a couple of last weeks opened up a lot of boxes and actually practically technically in none of them as far as i remember as i like to say my memory it's not always working out correctly but um i think we haven't faced or not faced but we haven't there were not too too many traps inside of them we rather got or received uh, trap items but none the less i ain't complaining about that so we are heating status so to say okay this is weird and new i hope this is not my computer but sometimes there's a little bit of lag inside if a enemy's enemy die not in every episode that is a little bit weird and i haven't realized of yet what the problem there is maybe i will find that out at one point but if it is a computer issue that will in the next couple of weeks at latest when amd is actually releasing their new cpus and gpus this hopefully will change okay let's pull down this one and then going through them okay oh ah of course, that I overseen the trap there is the usual thing for me. Um, always, I am the greatest person in overseeing them traps. This is my trademark, so to say, my signature thing to do. Okay, cultist down. These guys will fall quickly. We have another chest, a smaller chest, which will not spawn many o items most times actually crafting ingredients and but not and but has no is actually not spawning any trap by any sh chance this is the good part so let's see there will maybe be a so to say boss enemy on this map let's see whether it's going to be like in, on the last map whether it's going to be a impaled as well. Oh, okay, we have another nice, nice little chest here, which spawns a guardian. A soul-bound warp creature protects the chest. Most remarkable. And God, demon. Let's see what was so important in the chest. A couple of items. And there's always I still back in the good old days. 
there was this nice stolen relics mission. This is... I know I say that every time when I find one of these boxes, but it always remembers me of this good, old, wonderful mission from the Alpha version. Still sad that Neo Core Games, the developers, actually removed that from the game. I don't know the reason. Um, I honestly haven't even read the forums about that, but I guess they never stated that. But well, sometimes that just happens in the games, right? Missions you like, things you like, mechanics you like being removed from the game. This is just what it is in the life of the game, alright? Changes, constant changes, but that's actually a really good thing. Okay, last room, so we now find out what the heck of a enemy, of a boss enemy, if there is any, we will take down gladly. Still, there are more than 20 enemies, I already see the little skull, but I think it's not a purple skull? Okay, it is... Okay, the purple skull are the smaller champion-like enemies and the big skull is this one, alright, good to know. We received 5% damage reduction, alright, damage reduction ain't that bad as well. Let's then, during we, during we have this buff, take down a couple of the enemies around us. I think this is the neatest thing to do and afterwards we will head and head down the uh, impaler. We still have compared to the last episode where past psychic needed to kill. I actually had less inoculators remaining, so I think we are just going to be fine. Let's drop down some Okay, I hope we are able to take him down since the... Okay, at least we can take down his uh, suppression resistance. That will help out in the spell this bad boy can use. I ain't certain, to be honest, since we still have 6,000 uh, 6, HP in front of us if we are going to make it before we are... Oh, okay, I think we should make it just in time. Oh yeah, okay, this guy taken out. I don't know whether he just didn't drop any items or if I just was not seeing them. That of course is quite possible as well. I've overseen a damage buff, okay, that is not good, but we are through. Nice, so as usual in this mission, let's quickly go into the debriefing and then see what there is being told. I have a weird little feeling that this priority assignment is not going to be that long, but well. Debriefing, the Chaos Worshippers have been purged. The number of bodies suggests this was a third of the remaining invasion forces. Operation successful. It is now obvious that we have misjudged the intention of the invaders. A large corn worshipping group has emerged from the service tunnels and attacked the Ecclesiary. I pronounce this always wrongly, I know. Because of that, I actually never want to uh, read it out of the station. We must hurry to stop them but guys that right now leads us to the end of this episode and you know it i as usual really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye